Crush syndrome. Crush syndrome occurs due to crushing accidents, such as those seen in war zones, industrial accidents, and natural disasters, drug overdose, or positioning in lung surgery. When the muscle is crushed, it results in muscle necrosis, rhabdomyolysis, and myoglobinuria. The crush injury causes muscle breakdown, and the toxic muscle cell component and electrolytes are released into the bloodstream, causing third spacing and acute renal failure. So crushing of the limbs or the trunk can create a very harmful systemic effect, and that is crush syndrome. Crush injuries occur more in the lower extremities than the upper extremities and the trunk. It's common in earthquakes. Some of these patients with crush injury will have acute renal failure, and some will require dialysis and fasciotomies. The three main conditions associated with crush syndrome are the following. A local muscle damage, organ dysfunction, and metabolic abnormalities. And if not treated promptly, the patient could die within days. Etiology and common causes of crush syndrome. Drug overdose. Trunk compression of the forearm and leg. Surgical knee chest position. Compression of the legs, especially the anterior compartment. And crushing accidents. What is the pathogenesis of crush syndrome? The crushing injury and limb compression will lead to soft tissue injury, will lead to ischemia, that can cause compartment syndrome or the ischemia can cause muscle necrosis. Muscle necrosis. This muscle necrosis occurs due to prolonged pressure and muscle ischemia and it will lead to the following. Number one, rhabdomyolysis, which will lead to myoglobinuria and or myoglobinemia. Number two, third space fluid loss which will lead to hypovolemic shock. Both myoglobinuria and hypovolemic shock will lead to acute renal failure. Number three, metabolic abnormalities that will lead to ventricular fibrillation. Metabolic acidosis and the hyperkalemia will lead to cardiac arrhythmia. Number four, disseminated intravascular coagulation will cause coagulation deficiency. Number five, other complications such as compartment syndrome. Microcirculation is affected. The muscles are swollen with irreversible damage to the muscles and nerves. The clinical picture is presented here in this diagram. You can see the hypotension, the crushed limbs, the acute renal failure, the DIC, the compartment syndrome. Well, the pulses may not be affected. You can see the respiratory depression and also that ventricular fibrillation that may happen and the hyperkalemia and the metabolic acidosis. Treatment of crush syndrome. A multidisciplinary approach involving the medical and the surgical team is needed. As regards the medical management, you're gonna give fluid replacement. The ideal fluid is normal saline. You will give ventilatory support, you will give correction of metabolic acidosis, and you're gonna consider dialysis. As regard the surgical management, you will do emergency fasciotomy. Compartment syndrome can occur even if the patient is trapped less than one hour. It can occur even without a fracture, and compartment syndrome can occur, even with great circulation. Early fasciotomy must be done. 
Debridement of the necrotic tissue should be done and consider delayed VAC application and skin grafting. Mortality can be early or late. Early due to hypovolemia and hyperkalemia. Late mortality occurs due to multi-organ failure and sepsis.